Looking ahead to a new building and new memories. Were you up this morning? If so, you may have seen it. The University of Alabama imploded Julia Tutwiler Hall. The dormitory has housed more than 50,000 women students since it opened its doors more than a half a century ago in 1968. It's very appropriate that out of the dust of the old Tutwiler, the new Tutwiler is right there. A dorm which has stood for decades finally goes up in smoke. So how did it happen? Crews strategically placed several hundred pounds of dynamite throughout Tutwiler Hall. The vice president for campus development says the timing of the implosion was also strategic. The university works really hard to minimize the impact of the campus community and today's a very quiet day on campus. Typically uh, everybody's off to the beach so just a, a really good time to shut roads down um, and not have people here where they could be nervous about it. Near the site where Tutwiler Hall once stood, a new all women dormitory will open this fall. University leaders say this housing option is what students want. Our students like this. This is a type of facility they are looking for. So it provides options for a variety of students in a, a day and age where uh, there are a variety of needs and interests. As for the old Tutwiler site, cleanup is already underway. Crews will recycle the concrete and metal to use in other projects on campus. The university says it's important to preserve the history of a building that has served so many of its students. Some of you have seen the stories over the past week or so of women who've lived in the old Tutwiler and the, the impact and the memories they have. We know those same memories will continue for many years to come now. And the university says that it plans to develop green space on the side of the old Tutwiler Hall. One half will open up before the start of classes in August. The other half will be finished after football season.